Yo, what is up? It's your boy Trees, and welcome to this brand new Watch Dogs Legion Online video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can rank up very fast in Watch Dogs Legion Online. Make sure to go ahead and hit the like on this video. Let's hit 500 likes, subscribe, and ring the bell for more Watch Dogs Legion tips and tricks. And let's get right into it. So the two main reasons we want to go ahead and rank up fast is because we receive influence every time you rank up. And also, we can go ahead and rank up our battle pass to claim rewards. Rewards that we can claim from the battle pass are ETO, influence points, paints, cosmetic items, and watchdogs credits. And also, when we rank up to level 10, we can then go ahead and recruit elite enemies as well, just like Albion soldiers and Clan Kelly members. Before you go and watch this entire video, I highly suggest you to recruit at least one operative with a decent gun. So I'm talking about an SMG, MP5, or a G36, a weapon that gets the job done. It is very important. So let's first talk about spider butt arena which is obviously a six minute long pvp match we should get a 40 reward for this match but the thing is sometimes you will even get a 20 reward even when you win or even a 12 reward so in terms of the speed this mode is a little bit confusing because you could win with 16 kills and only end up getting 12 xp or you could completely lose and still get 40 xp as your reward so in terms of consistency it's obviously beneficial that this is a loop because that way we will continue get XP over and over again. I'll calculate this and it seems like we can get 120 to 400 XP per hour. So XP in Spiderbot Arena is very inconsistent. So the next one is co-op mode and you can get 60 XP for one particular co-op mission which will take you around 10 to 12 minutes on the regular and obviously using a headset is highly recommended. So once you've done these co-op missions like several times you'll obviously get the hang of it and then it will be easy to stay under those 10 minutes. If we spend 10 minutes on every single co-op mission, we can get around 360 XP per hour and getting this XP, we are obviously in a loop basically meaning that we can get unlimited amounts of XP because we can do this over and over again without content running out. In Watch Dogs Legion Online, you will also find weekly as well as daily challenges. And in the weekly challenges, we will get 300 XP for every single challenge that we complete. It is very important that you spend your influence wisely in order for you to being able to complete all of these challenges. I, for example, had a weekly challenge where I had to hijack a drone and kill at least five enemies and to hijack a drone I obviously needed to upgrade my tech upgrades with that being said always save up your influence to complete challenges weekly challenges only take you a couple of minutes and earn you 300 XP for every single one of them there are daily challenges that get you 80 XP 200 XP and there's yet another one that will get you 80 XP if you have loads of time to play make sure to go ahead and complete all challenges and if you don't make sure to go ahead and complete those weekly challenges as one of those challenges is almost as much as the three daily challenges all together and then there's also assignments and the ones that i did complete took me like two to three minutes to complete and the reward that we got from that was 30 xp so looking at that if i look at 60 minutes it will probably get me like 600 to 900 xp but obviously the assignments are limited and then there's also the live events which will only take you like three minutes and the reward for this is 60 xp if you look at it doing that for 60 minutes it will get you 1200 xp but like i said that is not really realistic because these live events and assignments as well as the challenges are limited content so the live events will get you 60 xp only in three minutes so if you do see one pop up on the map Get your friends and go to the location as fast as you can because it's definitely worth it. So first looking at the loop missions, the spider butt arena and the co-op mode. The co-op mode will get you 60 as a reward every single 10 minutes and you obviously get to play with your friends and the 60 reward is also consistently. So co-op mode is for sure the winner. So when we are looking at the challenges, one challenge of the weekly challenges is actually almost as much reward 
incredible as all the three daily challenges are. So if you don't have a lot of time, like I said, jump on those weekly challenges. Those are the winners. If you're playing every single day, obviously do those daily challenges to get that extra XP. So in terms of challenges, it really depends on how much you are playing the online mode. So looking at the limited content on the map, the assignments get you 30 XP. It takes like two to three minutes to complete. So what I highly suggest is that you do the easy ones out there, all right? Once you figure it out which the easy ones are, do them two to three minutes, get that 30 XP. But in terms of these, the live events are obviously the most rewarding since every single time you hop in with your friends, it takes you like three minutes and you get 60 XP. So the live events right here are the winner. There's also XP and ETO boosters and you will get one for free at level six. If you go to your battle pass and claim it, you will have three days of a 30% bonus on ETO as well as XP. You can obviously go ahead and buy this one from the store as well, but the one in the battle pass is completely free. So once you receive it, you can also wait to activate it later, so make sure to do it wisely. So far, we are still waiting on invasion as well as tactical ops, so I think that the co-op mode will be replaced with the tactical ops in terms of getting XP in the online mode. But the downside is obviously that tactical ops is very hard you need friends that are very good at the game and they need to communicate with you very very well while being in the tactical ops when invasion mode and tactical ops is here i will obviously be the first to let you know all this ranking up for obviously the influence that we want to collect we can get influence by ranking up but also we can get it by going to the hotspots that you can find on the map in these certain locations you can just go there and pick up the influence and there are also challenges that sometimes give you a little bit of influence as well so one of the things we can do with the influence is recruit operatives we don't have to do any recruitment missions like we did in the offline mode in the story mode we now have to just pay with influence and operatives will join that sack just like that and with the influence you can also go ahead and upgrade your tag upgrades and your tag gadgets you can let me know down below in the comments if you have any different strats for Watch Dogs Legion Online. I would love to read all your opinions down below, so make sure to let me know down below. If you found this video helpful in any way, hit the like on the video, subscribe and ring the bell for way more Watch Dogs Legion Online content right here on the channel. And I got two more videos on the screen, one for you to click on. This is me, boy Cheese. I am out. Peace.